Yo, before this video begins, I just like to let you all know that I'm doing a giveaway on my community tab. It ends once I hit 1,000 subscribers. It's got a lot of cool stuff, so go check out my community tab. It'll be on there, so, uh, yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else in between. I hope you're having a good day and night, no matter time it is you. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, honestly, some of the coolest news that has probably ever uh, been announced for Doodle World, right? Now, I'm sure you all know about CC skins, which... God, this topic totally doesn't hurt me in, on the inside. But basically, if uh, a you know if there's a prominent member of the community that does uh, videos on like YouTube and that or like live streams, uh, they can apply to get the CC role. And basically, if they get the CC role, what will end up happening is that they can get their own skin in the game. And quite a few CCs actually have this. Now, that's pretty cool on its own. However, some CC skins have eventually because they've been in the game before nearly a full year now, like since release. I'm pretty sure many had his about a week after the game launched probably wrong though i don't know it's been a long while now obviously a lot of people have been chaining for them since rough eye release and getting it from the ruler so they kind of flooded the market so they're not as cool as they used to be well they're still cool but they're just not as rare as they used to be and they kind of lost a lot of value in the trading community and i'm just in the eyes of a lot of people is something that most people will have because naturally you know content creators like i meant it are really popular so when their skin is available a lot of their fans are going to be wanting to get them however a new variant of the skins was just released. I think it's called like, I don't know. I think Blaze told me this in his live stream. I think they're called like Sparkle skins or something like that. I don't know. But basically, they'll like they don't show up in the Doodlepedia. Like I'll uh, show you now for Rafia. It just doesn't. Oh, so I'm just gonna close this. Annoying. It just doesn't pop up. But this skin exists, and I don't even think it pops up if you own it. Like it says that it's tagged to content creator, but that's his regular skin. His uh, new skin will be on screen right now, and they're really cool. Basically, they're recolors, which is something I think Doodle World should just start doing in general, just because it's really cool to uh, add some new skins into the game that are similar to old ones, but with different color palettes, and also it can make them a crap ton of money as well. And I honestly would not complain about even just having a roulette full of only like recolors. I'm gonna be honest, I would spend a lot of money on that. And a lot of content creators are getting these. For example, I'm pretty sure Sora has one where uh, the regular version is just all white, but then the misprint is see-through, which is pretty cool, I'm going to be honest. Uh, one Connell's had one, I think Speed has got one as well. The ones that I can find, I'll throw them just up on screen. These are incredibly cool. Sorry about that, but yeah. So, they have new misprints, they have new regular versions, and... You can't get these through chaining. The only way you can get given them is if the content creator themselves gives you them. Which is why I'm almost certain the only one I will be getting is the Blaze skin. Because, well, I mean, come on, man. My little brother's obviously going to give me a gift, you know what I mean? But they're still incredibly cool and just bring a lot of new life to the community as well. Because it's a case of, these things are going to be so rare and so valuable if you own one. And this is honestly just a way... I can see this being like a Wolf of Wall Street moment where like the content creators just run like the trading market with the amount of like if they want they can just crash the value by giving everyone them or they could just not which i'm assuming is what they're going to do because it's meant to be for giveaways or to give to friends and other members of the community which is honestly pretty neat all these skins look insanely cool and as, as mentioned they're not in the doodlepedia you can't chain them like they're not even going to be shown in skin collages the only way we will even know if a content creator has one in the game yet is if they show us uh, like on a live stream or if they tweet it out or something like that so really exclusive and really hard to get a hold of which is why like i said they're gonna have massive amounts of value because if you own one either you're mates with the content creator or you're just rich as hell although to be fair if you own one in the first place from just being mate with the content creator you're rich as hell because of that which is you know pretty wild um i think this is cool though I've seen a few people on Twitter saying how it's kind of stupid to be doing recolors, but I think it's neat. Like, just, you know, we got to see new color parts. Don't get me wrong. Is, I mean, is Rafael's misprint kind of being replaced from the purple to the golden one? Yeah, but the golden one still looks cool, and I still need to get myself an Amenity Rafael and just a misprint Rafael in the first place for the purple. All right, but yeah, I really like them, and let me know what you think about them down in the comment section down below. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. With all that being said, see ya.